Hey guys, this is Noor. Welcome to today's video. Today I have a very special guest for you, my cousin Lael. Hi everybody. <laughs> so Lael, would you tell uh, the audience about yourself a little bit? Uh, my name is Lael. I'm 17. Um, Noor's my cousin, you know. I love her very much. I love you too. Oh, baby. <laughs> um, I'm only half Lebanese. My mom is black, so um, so that's why she's gorgeous. Oh God. She's got the best of both worlds. <laughs> oh my God, I guess so. <laughs> but I have a secret about Lael. Lael is not so into the Lebanese cuisine. Yeah, I'm around Americans <laughs> way more. What can I say? <laughs> but today I'm gonna try to make her taste something Lebanese that she actually likes so that she begins eating more Lebanese food. So, yes. Lael, what is your favorite American dish? Um, I really love pancakes. Pancakes! Okay, I have a very good news for you, Lael. Oh, really? We, yeah. We also have Lebanese pancakes. They are called ataif, and they come in two flavors, either a cheese or walnuts. So which one do you want me to make for you? I'm going to go with the walnuts. Yeah. Walnuts, yes. very interesting choice. I love a walnut. It's my favorite <laughs> too. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a Lebanese ataif or Lebanese pancakes with walnut stuffing. Are you excited? I'm just overjoyed. <laughs> okay guys, before any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Add three cups and a quarter of warm water. Add two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Add one teaspoon of baking powder. And one teaspoon of active instant yeast. In the warm water, let it sit for three minutes. Then add two cups of all-purpose flour. Cover with a lid and let it rest for at least half an hour. After half an hour, remove the lid. You will realize that it has risen in volume. Give it a quick stir. You will also realize that it has thickened a little bit. This is the consistency you are looking for. Also, I will be scooping a quarter cup of this dough at a time per each ataif or pancake. Grease the griddle with a little bit of vegetable oil on medium heat. Don't forget to always stir before pouring it into the griddle. Pour the quarter cups one at a time onto the greased griddle. We only do a taif on one side and we don't flip them unlike pancakes. We let them sit there on medium heat and with time the bubbles on top will start forming and the top part will begin to dry out. Our goal is to have a completely dried out top part. Let 
let's check the bottom part as well, which should be golden brown. Let's see. Yes, that's what we are looking for. This is done. And here's a second one. Yes, perfect. As you see, they are all dried out on top and golden brown on the bottom. These are all done. Continue doing that until the whole batter is done. One hot, make sure they are spaced out or they're gonna stick together. And here are the Ataif pieces after they cooled down. This recipe made 32 pieces. Let's see how they look. They are soft, pancakey in structure, and golden brown on the opposite side. Beautiful. For filling at 3 cups walnuts, Grind them using a food processor. I don't want to have to tell you all the things I know. I don't want to stay, but I don't want to go. Using a mortar and a pestle, grind half a cup of granulated sugar. Then add the sugar to the walnuts. Add a splash of blossom water. Then another of rose water. We are going to fill each Ataif piece with one tablespoon of the walnut sugary filling. Then we are going to fold it into a crescent shape, which is the traditional shape of walnut filled Ataif. Now continue doing the same for the 31 pieces of Ataif left. You can serve them directly with a drizzle of honey. Bon appétit! Okay guys, since Lael is my guest, I'll give her the honor to do the ending. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, this was a lot of fun to make. Thank you, Noor, for letting me be on your channel. You're very welcome. And if the if there's enough thumbs up, then I'll come back. So make <laughs> sure you smash that like button, guys. Yes. And thumbs comment up. down below on the next recipe you want to see. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>